Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 10 students. Sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang inyong learning task number 2 letter B. Describe the properties of the graph of the given polynomial functions. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung learning task number 2 letter A, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright? So meron tayong given na f of x equals Quantity of x minus 1 squared times x plus 1. So, ang hanapin natin is yung standard form, leading term, x-intercepts, and multiplicities, at meron pang iba. Meron tayong dalawang quantity dito, at naka-square pa siya. Hindi natin malalaman yung standard form niya kung hindi natin isi-simplify ito. Kailangan muna natin isimplify ito bago natin maisulat yung standard form. Okay, so that is x minus 1 times x minus 1. Yan yung expanded form ng first term. So, using FOIL method, that is x times x equals x squared. x times negative 1 equals negative x. Negative 1 times x equals negative x. Negative 1 times negative 1 equals positive 1. Combine like terms, we will have x squared. Negative x minus x equals negative 2x plus 1. So, ito yung answer ng square of binomial. We have x squared minus 2x plus 1. Then, multiply pa natin yan dito sa x plus 1. Okay? x plus 1. Distributive method ang gagamitin natin kasi meron tayong trinomial to binomial. Didistribute natin yung x dito sa trinomial. At yung 1 dito sa trinomial. So, x times x squared is equal to x raised to 3. x times negative 2x equals negative 2x squared. x times positive 1 equals positive x. Next, yung positive 1 naman. 1 times x squared equals positive x squared. 1 times negative 2x equals negative 2x. 1 times 1 equals positive 1. Combine like terms, i-add natin yung mga magkakapareho. So, x cubed, wala siyang kapareho, kaya x cubed na lang yan. Negative 2x squared plus x squared, magkaiba ng sign, so i-subtract ninyo, magiging negative x squared. Then, x minus 2x equals negative x plus positive 1. Okay? So, as you can see, meron tayong decreasing powers of polynomials. Meaning to say, ito na yung standard form ng polynomial function na f of x equals x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1. So, ito yung letter A. Okay? Now, what is the leading term? Yung leading term again is yung pinakaunang term dito sa polynomial function and that is x raised to 3. So, ganun lang yung leading term. Next, x-intercepts naman, multiplicities. Sa so, x-intercepts muna tayo. Para mahanap yung x-intercept, let y is equal to 0. Eh, wala namang y dito. Yung f of x kasi is pwedeng i rewrite as y. So, ito magiging 0 equals x minus 1 squared times x plus 1. Since naka-factored form na yan, madali na lang natin makuha yung x-intercept. I-equate lang natin ito sa 0. So, unahin muna natin to Magiging x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. Diba dalawa to That is x minus 1 equals 0. Transpose natin si negative 1 sa kabila magiging x equals positive 1. Ibig sabihin, dalawa yung real roots natin na positive 1. So, yung multiplicity natin, since naka-squared ito, that is x equals 1, multiplicity of, of 2. Kasi may squared tayo dito. Kaya ito lang yung multiplicity natin. 
Next, ito naman, equate natin sa 0. That is, x plus positive 1 is equal to 0. Transpose natin sa kabila, magiging negative 1. So, ang dalawang x-intercepts natin ay positive 1, 0. Kasi, ang y natin is 0, di ba? Ito. At ang next naman na x-intercept is negative 1, 0. Yan na yung dalawang x-intercept natin. Next, punta naman tayo dito sa y-intercept. Ang y-intercept naman, let x equal 0 naman yan. Ibig sabihin, gagawin natin 0 yung x. So, yung standard form natin kanina is ito. x cubed minus x squared y y equals x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1. So, gawin nating 0 yung mga x. So, magiging y equals 0 raised to 3 minus 0 raised to 2 minus 0 plus 1. Okay? So, pag 0 yan, 0 yan, 0, ang matitira lang is positive 1. Ibig sabihin, ang y-intercept natin is equal to 0 positive 1. Bakit 0 ito? Kasi pag y-intercept, let x is equal 0. At ang y natin is 1, kaya 0, positive 1. Ito yung y-intercept. Now, what is the number of turning points? Diba may formula tayo dito that is n minus 1, which is yung n, yun yung degree of the polynomial function or yung leading term. So, ang leading term natin kanina is x raised to 3. Yung degree niya is 3 minus 1. And that would be equal to 2. So, ang turning point natin is dalawang beses siya magta-turn. Then, lastly, ano naman ang possible graph with end behavior? Okay, so balikan lang natin itong graph natin. Kapag ang degree ng polynomial ay even, ang magiging graph niya is parehong rising or parehong falling. At kapag odd naman yung degree, ibig sabihin... Falling at rising yung magiging graph ng polynomial function. O dito, ano yung kanyang degree? di ba 3? Kasi yun yung highest exponent. So, odd yung ating degree. Ibig sabihin, ang magiging graph niya is falling and rising. Kasi positive, eh, positive ito. So, gawa tayo ng Cartesian plane. Hindi ito yung actual graph niya, ha? Possible lang ito. Tapos, meron tayong dalawang turning points. So, paano nga ba yan? Meron tayong falling tsaka rising. So, falling muna. Okay, sabihin na natin na ganyan. Falling. And then, rising. Ganyan. So, meron tayong dalawang point. Ito, yung turning point niya. So, 1, 2. Okay? So, ito yung magiging possible graph ng polynomial function na to x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1. Alright, so natapos na natin ang learning task number 2. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!